Good evening, good evening, and here I am live on PO Cruises Arvia bringing you a Holidays at Sea cabin tour. Now, I have to say, the cabin that I'm going to show you, I think, is one of the best kept secrets, Deck 5. This is cabin number 5353. So, come on, let's go take a look. Pack my things up carefree. Adventures waiting. I'm heading out, heading out to see the rest of the world. Yeah, yeah. I'll just put the light on. Uh, put the light in there. Turn the lights on. Lovely. Right, come and follow me in the cabin. So this is cabin number 5353. Now, I booked an early save affair balcony cabin. So you just don't know what cabin you're going to get. So I was given a GC grade 5353. Never been on deck five before, as low down as this. But you know what? I'm so pleasantly surprised. I can't wait to share this with you. It is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful cabin. So I'm going to take you on a little tour. Now, this cabin is a three and four berth. So I really want to focus on storage in this cabin as well, which is what I'm going to do. So first of all, uh, I just want to say thank you to Holes for filming this. She has been doing an absolute brilliant job over the last nine days. It's so I'm so lucky to have her on board. We're having an absolute ball so this uh so these are uh this is a great area uh for extra storage now magnetic hooks are the key many of you have got them uh i've been bringing them on cruises for quite a while and also this over the wall hanger as well as you can see it's hung up by the magnetic hooks and I've got little things like jewelry in there perfumes in there etc um these also come as standard in every cabin. You've got four hooks there, and me and Holes just use them for bags and jackets as well. Uh, I've got another over the wall hanger. So if there is three or four of you, you could literally have one of these each, uh, but they're so, so useful for having extra storage. So let's go and have a look in the bathroom. You've probably seen the bal balcony bathrooms on Arvia before. So I'll just quickly show you, again, mainly to point out the storage. So you've got two shelves down there. You've got two shelves up here. So me and not Holes have only really used the two. So if there's three or four of you, you've got another two shelves in there uh, to use. The shower, oh, you know how much I love a glass door. Uh, so <clears throat> this is the shower. You've got um, toiletries that come with the shower with a white company really really good you've got shampoo and you've also got shower gel as well but it smells so nice you've also got hand wash as well uh, here if you run out you just ask your cabin steward for some more i've also got this as well uh, and this is a bathroom kind of storage hanger um so i got this from amazon and it's just again i've put in there the laundry conditioner which i'll show you and I've also got suntan cream, hair bubbles, just little knickknacks uh, that helps with the storage. Holly's brought this hair wrap. I don't know if you've ever had one of those, but they are brilliant for drying your hair pretty quickly and absorbing the moisture when you get out of the shower. Now, these. I'm going to talk more about these as the week goes on, but we have used these today in the laundry and I have to say the clothes smell gorgeous. It's a laundry shampoo and conditioner and the smell is like uh, popular perfumes that you would wear. Um, but I'll talk about those as the week goes on, but definitely recommended. So uh, I'm going to show you into the main area of the cabin. So these are the wardrobes. Again, there's plenty of wardrobe space. Uh, you've got plenty of room. That's quite a deep wardrobe. Uh, you've got a shelf on top and uh, you can put shoes in, but it does quite go far back. So you can get double the amount of clothes holes has got in there. Then you've got shelves. So you've got six shelves. Now then all I'm gonna say to you is, who who's are the travel cubes and who's that you know how much i love a travel cube so <laughs> all my day wear is in there so my costumes etc so they're all in there but they're so helpful honestly they are such a godsend then we've got the main cabin there with 
uh, plenty of room again you could double that amount of clothes if there was more people in here and also shoes and then of course your life jackets now while I'm here oh my goodness me I have to talk about the bed oh these beds you know how much I love a good bed a good sleep <laughs> should I say there's mattress toppers on these as well and I've got to say uh, the cushions they are so comfy so I am going to ask cabin steward Captain Canby where do I get these from please because they are absolutely beautiful but I'm sure uh, you you know yourself this is the rich oh. attention medical response team medical response team proceed to cabin 15312 uh, medical response team is on three port side okay attention, medical response team medical response team this is live cabin uh, so 15, <coughs> things can happen deck 15 zone 3 port side okay Let's hope that everything's okay there. Um, so we've talked about the bed. We've got uh, the USB port as well uh, on every at the side of every lamp, which is great. So when you're in bed, you can charge your phone, etc. I've got my books there, and you've also got uh, a spotlight and a lamp as well. Okay. So as you know, I always bring these with me, my magnetic clips. Now, now here is the fitness sh schedule. Now, as you can see, nothing has been crossed off. Nothing has been done as yet. We've even got the three class pass. Uh, as you can see, we've still got the vouchers there, the classes. And, uh, and the fitness schedule is still as it was nine days ago. Uh, I've got the Horizon magazine. Now, me and Halls, we like a good spreadsheet of our time and what we've got planned. Because to be fair, we've had that much planned. We forgot what we were doing and when. Uh, then we've got uh, we've got the gym masterclass and uh, a facial booked. So it's just nice just to keep them all nice and even because you know I like a tidy camp. Okay, so uh, <laughs> got some little friends joining us as well uh, on Holly's bed. Now, you know, I said uh, on Instagram and Facebook, can anybody name him? And the amount of people that came back with the same name, Rory. So meet Rory, R-O-A-R-Y, Rory. And this little fella came to us today, courtesy of the cabin steward. Now, just a little competition for you. I've got two luggage, Holidays at Sea luggage labels to give away. If the first person that correctly identifies what animal this is, uh, get I'll send you over some luggage labels. So what animal am I? Okay <laughs> He's done He's done an absolute brilliant job. So thank you So as we go into the uh, main body of the cabin you can see that this would be where the third bed would be It comes out of the ceiling and then we've got the fourth bed here It comes out in bunk beds. The cabin steward is very kindly done that for me earlier I've got a video of it so you'll be able to see tomorrow exactly what that would mean and how it would look so for storage I've seen many of many people do this when they've been in a cabin uh, is especially a three and four berth is use this shelf for shoes so that's what I've done just to show you uh, how good it can be especially if you've got uh, two children they can have all the shoes on there and yes we are a family of croc lovers <laughs> As you can as you can see so we've, you've got more storage in here there are two little shelves we've just got our hair products on there and then also we've got two more shelves in there I've just got all my, uh, my charges etc in there now teas and coffees now this comes as standard in every cabin now biscuits if you do like a biscuit because I don't know about you there's nothing nicer that when you get into bed, you get your Horizon magazine, make a cup of coffee or a cup of tea, have your biscuit. These don't come anymore, you've got to ask for them. So ask your cabbage steward and say you want these every night and I'll put them in. But Holly's brought some double chocker mockers. You've got lots of different cafe, uh, coffees, milks and teas, sugars, sweeteners. So that's perfect for a cup of tea in the morning or at night, but yeah, ask for your biscuits. The other thing as well, while I talk about asking for things, that if you want a face cloth, 
then ask your cabin steward any extra coat hangers ask your cabin steward more shampoo more shower gel just ask him and he'll bring it in for you okay so then we've got the fridge now then as you know <laughs> i'm laughing because this is unbelievable and a big surprise i'm sure to myself never mind you guys that that bottle of gin you are allowed to bring a litre of gin from Southampton on board per person. So Holly doesn't really drink, so I like a gin. Now, <laughs> I can't believe the fact that it's still unopened and we've only got six days left, but there's time, there's time. So Holly brought these as well. These are a brilliant idea. These are like little miniature uh, squash bottles. Uh, so we've got a couple of those to add to the water. Uh, as well but yeah you're allowed to bring either a bottle of champagne a bottle of prosecco and a liter of gin per person or 12 cans of soft drinks so yeah that's that's great so uh plug sockets i get asked this a lot you've got two british put plugs i've also got one of these which is great so it's <clears throat> you've got three usb ports uh in there so that's that's really good especially i would ask for get two of these before you come if there's a family of four uh, but yeah, these are really good. But yeah, the uh, British and European plug sockets on board. Okay, now then, the piece de resistance, I think what makes this cabin so special is uh, is the balcony because you are low down. I'm going to show you that. But I just want to talk a little bit about the balcony. Like I say, it's 190 square foot. It's a GC grade, but it really is one of the best kept secrets. Deck five is so quiet. I've got the limelight above my head and I have heard nothing whatsoever at all from the Limelight Club. We've got cabins either side, but this deck really is lovely and quiet. So if you do like a quiet cabin then, and you do see any availability on deck five, then I would very much recommend it. So I'm gonna take you outside and show you the balcony. Now this door, this door is quite heavy. I'm not gonna lie, it is quite heavy, uh, but you know, <coughs> you'll be able to manage it it's not heavy that you can't push it open now this is a balcony it's a standard balcony you've got two chairs and you've got a table behind me but what is so special about this cabin is the view you're so near to the ocean so especially what's so nice is when you're at sea and you come out and you can hear the ocean the sea the movement you're so close to it it's just it's magical, it really is. Uh, it's, it is really special. I love being in. I would definitely 100% book this cabin again. Uh, I absolutely loved it. And you speak to many people who've been uh, in one of these cabins on deck five and they will say exactly the same. Now, as you can see, it is enclosed. So you don't get, and you've got the lifeboats above you, so you don't get necessarily the sun above your head, but we've been uh, lucky enough to be in the retreat. Uh, so we haven't needed to spend any time or sunbathing on the balcony. Uh, so if you do like to sunbathe on the balcony, maybe this cabin isn't for you. But if that's not a priority, these cabins, like I say, uh, are really, really lovely and a little best, best kept secret, I think. So that's, I hope you like the cabin. Um, I absolutely love being in this cabin and we've had a great time. Now, if you want to book P&O Cruises Arvia, then all you need to do is join Holly Deals at Sea Facebook group and maybe you want to book this cabin. I have got an offer code. OK, so just head on over to Holly Deals at Sea. There is an offer code there which will give you further discount off your cruise holiday. But I just want to say thank you very much for joining us. Me and Halls are absolutely having a ball. It's so special to spend time, uh, mum and daughter. And we're really grateful for all your comments. So carry on, keep watching. Anything you, you need, then just ask or inbox me. And I'll look forward to, for you to guessing who this little fella is. Because I'll be honest with you, I need to ask a cabin steward because I haven't got a clue. <laughs> so from me and Halls, uh, and thank you so much and I'll catch up with you uh, later on in the week when I'll be doing a live Q&A and also giving away the M&S hamper and some more luggage labels. I'll let you know when but until then from me and Halls have a lovely lovely evening.